What's poppin' Vikes? Today we have a new segment called Dad Jokes, information about the internship program and a community service project the seniors did. I'm Kara. And I'm Ryan, and you're watching SVTV. Hey Ryan, did you hear one group of seniors went to Boys and Girls Club for their service day? No I didn't, but let's go see what they did there. We're out here at the uh, Boys and Girls Club on 27th and Adams and we're just out here just helping the community. And they are helping us prepare for our Lights On event. So what Lights On is, it's going to be like a fall festival fun night for our club families. Uh, well, the kids and their families, and then we're celebrating after school programming. So it's something they're doing nationwide. We're currently putting candy into some bags for the kids to take tonight, and we're basically coloring the paper bags, and then we're hole punching them and putting strings through it. And we have some, I think, for parents and some for the kids that come tonight. Well, we're doing whatever, like the Boys and Girls Club people tell us to do. We're making arts and crafts, kind of cleaning up, organizing tables and stuff. Uh, the senior service day was pretty fun. We went to Boys and Girls Club off uh, Adam Street. Uh, and we just made crafts for the kids, set up for the Halloween. Wow, looks like both the seniors and the kids had a lot of fun. You're right. Now let's jump into the news. Thursday, November 29th at 7 p.m. in the library is a preview of a Broadway show and a demonstration of the beginnings of the American Revolution. Please consider volunteering at Doorstep, who will be having the Christmas store the week of December 10th. Anyone interested in purchasing a Robotics Club t-shirt should turn in their order form and check to Mr. Coon in N15 by November 30th. Students, Math Lab, and the Writing Center will be closed after school tomorrow. FBLA is collecting hats, coats, jackets, and gloves for Giving Tuesday. Mr. DeLeonardo's seminar is still in the lead. Remember, the winner gets an ice cream party. Do you know what students and internship do? Not really. Let's go learn more about it. Seniors from Seminole High School are getting real-world experience to help guide them to careers that they want to pursue after high school. Gita Noble introduced this program three years ago. The internship program is offered to our seniors in high school at Seminole High, and it's um, an elective where students get to gain valuable work experience in a career field they want to pursue after high school. She says this year was the biggest class she's ever placed with 61 students throughout the Topeka community. We have several students in the health services industry, from PAs to nurses to sonographers um, to an OBGYN, Shadow. We have pretty much every business field represented. Senior Tara Hodges is doing her internship at the Soldier Township Fire Department, and it's not all about the fire. You're doing the medical side, you're cleaning up around here, you're making sure the trucks are loaded, um, that all your hoses are in the correct spots. Tara says the experience she's getting now is going to help her get her EMT into where she wants to be in the future. I'm already starting to study and I've already done tests here and it kind of prepares me for that class, which I really enjoy. Mentors like Battalion Chief Chad Lady says this is a good opportunity for students to see if they would like the career. My goal or my, my opportunities are to, to take the kids under my wing, um, teach them a little bit about what we do, try and light a little bit of fire underneath them so that they want to learn more about the uh, profession and, and further, them, further their knowledge. If you are interested in this program, talk to Mrs. Noble or the counselors. We will go see where and when the bowling meetings are with Ryan after this quick commercial break. Football is a Thanksgiving tradition. What better way to spend your Thanksgiving day than watching football? Action begins at 11.30 between the Chicago Bears and the Detroit Lions. Following that game, the Washington Redskins take on the Dallas Cowboys at 3.30. And then finally, the Atlanta Falcons take on the New Orleans Saints at 7.20 p.m.
This year, November 27th is Giving Tuesday, a global day of giving that unites people all around the world. After you spend your Black Friday and Cyber Monday buying things for yourself, you have a chance to give back to the community. So go out and make a difference this Giving Tuesday. For any student interested in bowling this school year, there will be a meeting today for both boys and girls. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors will meet after school at 315 in room 907. Now, over to Weatherman Josh to see if this cold weather continues into the Thanksgiving break. Good afternoon to you. Just a two-day week this week, and we are tracking a warming trend, but today, rather cool out there. A cold front did pass through, 49 degrees for our high. Temperatures rather steady through the early afternoon, but they start dropping quickly with a north wind as we head into the evening hours. Temperatures by 7 o'clock already down into the middle 30s with clear skies, and light winds by tomorrow morning will help make a very cold morning once again, so temperatures tomorrow morning in the mid 20s. Now, as we head into Thanksgiving, yeah, much warmer weather, 57 degrees with mainly sunny skies. Clouds hold off until the evening hours and overnight there could be a rain chance leading into Black Friday. So you're going to be out shopping early Friday morning or really anytime before noon. Keep in mind we could have some rain in the area over the eastern half of the state. So Keep that in mind for Black Friday. Otherwise, here on your SBTV 7-day forecast, you can see that it's a pretty dry next few days until, again, that rain chance Thursday night into Friday. But I want to focus in on Sunday here. We could have some scattered showers in the area, and there's the chance that this changes over or mixes with snow Sunday night. This is the forecast we're going to update you with tomorrow. And then, of course, stay tuned to our social media outlets in the days to come for Sunday's snow chance. Again, otherwise, there's the seven-day forecast. Now, Ryan and Kara, back to you. Well, that's all we have for today, Vikes. We're going to leave you with a segment of Dad Jokes. Tomorrow, we will take a look at this year's basketball preview. Have a great rest of your day. Why are rivers rich? I don't know. They have two banks. Hear about that Italian chef? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Chef. Hey. Yeah. Did you hear about that Italian chef? He pasta away. Why is Peter Pan always flying? <laughs> I don't know. Why is he always flying? <laughs> why, why is he always flying, Ryan? <laughs> He never lands. <laughs> Very good one. Oh, All right. What did one hat say to the other? <laughs> you stay here. I'll go on ahead. He's crying. <laughs> All right. This is so hard for me. Okay. What did... <laughs> All right, <Jared. laughs> Why are you dying? <laughs> hey, take a chill. It's so funny. <laughs> what did the buffalo say to his son on his way to college? I don't know. Bye, son. How many apples grow on a tree? What? All of them. What was Forrest Gump's password on his computer? I don't know. One forest one. I got them. Okay, okay, okay. That was a good one, Ryan. What do you call an elephant that doesn't matter? An irrelevant. What do peppers do when they're angry? I don't know. Get hollop in your face. <laughs> that was a very good one, Ryan thought about going on an all almond diet, but that's just nuts. I had a joke about a piece of paper, but 
It's terrible. <laughs> what do you call somebody who lost their car? What? Car lost. 